get to Destination Virginia. We are having a great day here in Smithfield. And it really is a hidden gem. So much to do and eat. You're right. And if you're a history buff, this really should be on your bucket list. Now, Barry, we've been having a great time here in Smithfield. But did you know that just down the road from Smithfield is the oldest brick dwelling in North America? Bacon's Castle? Yep. <laughs> so no bacon. No, but mm. I promise you, this place is so rich with history, you're not going to be disappointed. Bacon's Castle is the oldest brick house in North America, built in 1665, and today it's operated as a historic house museum by Preservation Virginia. Preservation Virginia is the oldest statewide preservation organization in the country. So we were founded in 1889 and since then have saved over 500 properties across the state of Virginia. The work that we do is important because we are saving these places for future generations to visit and learn from. And that's an important part of what we do. We develop programming that is related to all of our historic sites. We're open from March through December on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And people can come and get a guided tour through the house. Um, we have interpreters that'll tell you the history and the architecture and the families who lived here, the different things that happened. We also do haunted history tours various times during the year when you can go through in the evening and an interpreter will tell you the ghost stories associated with the house. So Bacon's Castle, the name comes from Bacon's Rebellion, which took place in 1676. Uh, it was a rebellion in Virginia led by Nathaniel Bacon. Nathaniel Bacon was a young English aristocrat who led an uprising of English colonists against the colonial government. Uh, during Bacon's Rebellion, this house, then known as the Allen House, was taken over by about 70 of Bacon's men. Uh, they occupied it for three months in a fortified manner, and in the 17th century, the word castle tended to mean fortified house more than the storybook definition we tend to have today. My favorite part about Bacon's Castle is there are no other dwellings this old in North America, brick dwellings. You cannot stand in a 17th century kitchen of this age where we are right now in North America. It's really special, it's really unique. When I'm trying to research and learn more about kitchens of this age, I'm often looking at England, right? I'm looking elsewhere because those are the, the examples of spaces from this period. And did I ever think that I'd be working in a 17th century structure? I never did, and it's been so exciting. And that's, that's why we think it's so important to let more people come here and experience this because it, it's not going to happen anywhere else in this area. The original structure of Bacon's Castle is 5,000 square feet. The first floor has rooms mainly for entertaining. So there's a very large open room called the Great Hall that would have been for balls, dancing, banquets, all kinds of formal events. Then it has a smaller room called the chamber, which would have been kind of a semi-formal entertaining space. The second floor where we are now has the chamber, the 1711 chamber, and this would have been kind of the uh, grown-ups bedroom. And then above us, the top floor of the house is the garret, and that has three rooms that would have been occupied uh, by enslaved women, largely who are working for uh, textile production here on the property. Bacon's Castle is one of the longest still standing houses with a history of enslavement in America. We were had enslavement here from 1673 to 1865. That's even after the Emancipation Proclamation. So it's a really big responsibility for us to make sure that we're communicating the stories of those people who have largely been erased from the historic record in other ways. So we are working with our local descendant community in order to bring some more of those stories forward to try and get some more information that might not have been written down but passed through word of mouth. We also have a brand new exhibit on display that gives a little bit more insight through photographs and artifacts associated with the enslaved and our last remaining slave quarter on the property, which dates to about 1830, has recently been renovated as well. And we're kind of figuring out what direction we're gonna go with regards to how we interpret that in the future. We have a lot of 
of events here that are not necessarily a guided tour. So you can come to one of our fairs. We offer ghost tours of Bacon's Castle. Everyone loves a ghost tour. There is a really interesting tour of the outbuildings that you can take self-guided. You can either purchase tickets online, go to our Preservation Virginia website, there'll be a link to the tickets, but you can also just buy them on site when you come. If you're a group of um, 10 or more, we appreciate if you call ahead. You can either call or email us at Bacon's Castle at preservationvirginia.org and we will be happy to set up any kind of group tours for you. We're really excited. We recently were awarded a Save America's Treasures grant from the National Park Service that will allow us to do a number of important restoration projects to this house over the next couple of years. We're going to be stabilizing several parts of the house. We're going to be working to push water away from the foundation. That might not sound like the most exciting work, but it really, really is. And we're going to learn so much about this house when we do this restoration work. My favorite part of Bacon's Castle is just the endless amount of history that's here. There's so many rabbit holes to go down. There's always something new to learn about. And there's been so many people who have passed through this space that it's really an inexhaustible resource for further research. There's so much that you can learn here, and there's so much that we can continue to develop and teach to people through programs and events and things like that. Wow, what an amazing place to visit. It's beautiful, so full of history. And Karen, you're right, I didn't think about eating bacon one time. I told you. Well, we've had a great time today. We had a blast learning about history and old food at the Isle of Wight County Museum. And man, oh man, Smithfield Station, delicious food and a great location for your next event. And don't forget Bacon's Castle. There really is so much to do here in Smithfield. You have to come visit. That wraps it up for us here on Destination Virginia. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you'd like to be featured on an upcoming Coming episode, please get in touch. You can catch all of our episodes on yourview.com, but most importantly, don't forget to make Virginia your next destination. Well, I have had such a great time in Smithfield today, but Barry, I am not looking forward to that drive home. Well, lucky for you, that drive home is going to be a while, Karen. Look at your tire. <gasps> Oh my it's, gosh, what are we going to do? It's practically flat. Well, you know that app you're all excited about? Yeah, the ABB Value Plus app. I have an idea. They have roadside assistance. <gasps> Barry, you rock, and so does that app. <laughs> Tell you what, while we're waiting, let's go across the street to that cafe, get a cup of coffee for the road. That sounds perfect. And Karen, listen, on the ride home, I get to pick the music. Fine, but promise me you won't sing along. Not gonna promise that. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make our way over to yes we are when we come back we're gonna go to <laughs> let's go inside let's go and which way are we walking <laughs> and Karen you're right I didn't think about eating bacon one time I told you <laughs> you need to eat more bacon Barry it's because you smell amazing <laughs> like bacon, <laughs> like bacon. <laughs>